Think Mitsubishi and you'll either conjure images of Lance Evolution sliding through mud or Grandpa doing up his cardi. But this summer, Mitsubishi wants to convince you that it's joined the hip and cool brigade with a convertible version of its little economical runabout, the Colt. This is the new model in the Colt range that first launched in 2004. You get a choice of two versions, both with one and a half litre four cylinder engines. But today, we're driving the more expensive turbo cabriolet. Now, coupe cabriolets are spreading like flies at the moment, but before you swat away the idea of a cool convertible from Mitsubishi, this one's been co-designed by Pininfarina. Now, they've designed lots of beautiful Ferraris. Now, Mitsubishi being Mitsubishi, have even kindly produced a separate instruction booklet for how to operate the roof. I'm sure it can't be that complicated. Having the roof down brings advantages because it allows the light to flood into a cabin that has more in common with a dark and dreary day in England than it does with an Australian summer. It's all dark and grey and not particularly flashy, but at least the plastics are of quite good quality and the controls are quite neat and tidy, if a little cheap looking in places. But at least you get seat warmers, which is a bit of a bonus on those chilly mornings. This Cabriolet costs 37.990 but you can save five grand by opting for the entry-level version. But then you don't get the niceties such as these comfortable leather seats. And you don't get this turbocharged engine either, which gives the Cabriolet a much needed performance boost. But the power delivery is not always instant. In fact, I'll show you what I mean. We're in second gear now. Press the throttle firmly, wait for it, and now it gets going. It's not ideal, but once the car gets going, it goes pretty well. Now, there are other ingredients to making a successful convertible besides engine performance. There's cool styling, a good stereo, a cool styling, a clever roof system, and cool styling. Now, Mitsubishi says the cold cabriolet is sophisticated, it's stylish, and it has a bit of Italian flair. But while the roof system might be sophisticated, I'm not seeing a lot of flair either in the cabin or in the exterior design. No, I wouldn't be so cruel to say that this is a cardigan car, but it's certainly no designer shirt either. Mm -hmm. 